Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to boost your FPS in X Defiant in 2024. We're going to start by optimizing Windows and after that we will go inside of the game. So now the best setting for Windows for gaming. So first of all, we're going to search for game mode in the search bar. Make sure that game mode is activated for the past like year. It's pretty good. Uh, you're getting a decent performance and you're going to make sure that all your resources are focused on the game that you're playing. For the Xbox game bar, I still recommend to deactivate this one, causing stuttering, crashing in some games. So I'm not a huge fan of the Xbox game bar. And for the capture, make sure that the background recording is at off and also the, record, uh, the recorded audio is at off. Another thing that I recommend, it's the hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. Make sure that you're searching for graphics setting. You will need an NVIDIA card, 1000 series or more recent. It will really help with bottleneck. So if you have a 1050, 1050 Ti, 1060, even the 2060, you can expect a nice 2 to 5% boost. And also you can expect like less stuttering when you're using that. So I re really recommend to use that. Another thing that is really important, it's your driver. Make sure that you have the latest driver from AMD, NVIDIA, even Intel, if you have a, an iGPU on your processor. Um, so for an example here with AMD, you just click check for update and it's going to show you if you have the latest one. You can do the same thing with NVIDIA. Another thing that I can recommend with the um, NVIDIA and AMD, they have a, an image scaling uh, for the past like a couple of months. Um, for from AMD, it's called Super Resolution, and for NVIDIA, it's NIS. I have dedicated video to, who's gonna like show you how to use that and how to configure it. But to explain you quickly what it's about, uh, so you need to enable this. So for example, I'm playing uh, in 2K because my monitor in, is in 2K. I'm going inside of my game. I lower the resolution at 1080p, and the software will scale it back at 2K. And with this process, I can save like 15, 20% in my FPS. Also, you can do it if you have like a 4K monitor and you want to do 1080p or 2K. Uh, you can expect a nice boost. The image quality will not be the same if you compare with native, but in some game, it's working very well and you it's very tough to see the difference. So I, I recommend to, to use it if you're struggling with your FPS. So if you have an NVIDIA card, just go on your NVIDIA setting, go to control panel, open it, go to manage 3D setting and just use pretty much the setting that I'm currently using. Honestly, they're pretty much default. So the first one that you need to change is your low latency mode. If you have this technology, make sure that it's at on. The other one is your if you want to lock your FPS. Uh, for an example, you have like a 170 Hertz monitor and you want to stay in your G-Sync ring. Uh, range sorry you just put your uh, FPS here at like something like 167 something like that you want to be under 170 Hertz to always stay in your G-Sync range so if you want to do that it will do that for all your game it's a global setting over there so I'm gonna unlock it and this is pretty much it if you have access to the change ECC state I recommend to uncheck it this will slow your VRAM so you don't want to use that for change resolution, make sure that you're playing native. So you're, if you have a 2K monitor, go with 2K. If you have a 1080p monitor, go with 1080p. And super important, look at your refresh rate. A lot of people are missing this step. They buy like a new screen and by default it's at 60. So use the uh, maximum refresh rate that is available on your uh, monitor. The last parameter will be your G-Sync. So I recommend if you want to use G-Sync, I recommend to, first of all, you need to enable it. And I recommend to use the enable for window and full screen. So if you're playing a game like in borderless mode, it will be applied. Also, you can select just one uh, display screen, depending on whatever. If, if your second screen is not compatible with G-Sync, you will just push it to one monitor. Uh, me, I'm not using it. I have a 4090 uh, for my GPU. So I just want to unlock my FPS. So in majority of the game, I'm getting like 250 FPS and um, my monitor refresh rate is at 170 Hertz. So I just want to lower my input lag. So that's why I just unlock everything, but it really depends on your situation. So this is pretty much it for Nvidia. Another thing that I recommend, it's your energy profile. So right energy in your search bar, go to power option. Make sure that you're running something like balance or high performance. Um, on a de desktop computer, it should not be an issue. But if you're playing on a laptop, 
really make sure that you're using that or a special profile for performance uh, from your brand like Asus, Dell or whatever. The thing is sometimes when you plug your uh, PC in the wall, unplug using it with the battery, sometimes it stay at power saver and you don't want to use that when you're playing a game. So super important to be plugged in and also uh, to use a proper uh, performance profile. Another thing that I can recommend, it's the Intelligent Standby List Cleaner. This is a software made by the guy from DDU. Um, it's, it's pretty amazing, honestly. Um, it will help if you don't have a lot of RAM in your PC. So if you have 4 gig of RAM, 8 gig, 12 gig, uh, after that, you should be fine. Windows is doing the job properly. So it will free memory and it's going to make sure that it optimizes your standby list. So what I recommend normally, it's look at your total memory here. In my case, it's 32. Just divide it by 2. So for me, it's 16. Just press start and it will run automatically and you just lower the software like that and you're going to make sure it's optimized. So it's a really good software and also it helps a little bit with uh, stuttering. So I really recommend to use that. One last thing is um, I have dedicated video on my channel about overclocking CPU, overclocking GPU, depending on your brand and stuff. And it's pretty good because it there are basic overclocking guide. I don't touch voltage, so it's pretty safe. You can expect sometimes 2% to 10% boost in your FPS depending on your thermal, depending on your component. But it's it's something that you need to look at too if you want to optimize your PC um, for the best performance. So now let's go inside of the game. So now inside of the game, so the first one is display mode. Make sure that you're playing full screen. This is the best mode for FPS and the lowest input lag. Resolution and the refresh rate. Make sure that you're playing native. In my case, my monitor is a 1440p at 240 hertz. So super important to do that. Triple buffering. You want to deactivate this. It create add uh, input lag. Reduce latency. Use this one at on. If you have an NVIDIA card with low uh, latency reflex, go with on over there. After that, we have the API. Uh, if your card is like three years old or more recent, normally DirectX 12 will be better for you. Uh, if you have an older computer, definitely test the Direct 11. Honestly, just do some testing. Use DirectX 12 and 11. Don't just look at your amount of FPS, but look at the stability of your game. So it really depends uh, which card that you have. Uh, if your card, when it released, it was for DirectX 11, probably it will be better with DirectX 11 for this game. So definitely do some testing. V-Sync mode, I recommend to go with off. You want to deactivate this, uh, it add input lag. I always unlock my FPS to have the lowest input lag. The only case, maybe you should lock your FPS if you have thermal issue. For example, you're playing on a laptop, you have a 60 Hertz monitor. Probably you should lock your FPS at 60 if you have a bad thermal. So definitely look at this. Shadow work quality, I recommend to go with low. You can expect 15% boost over there. Spot shadow, go with medium. Spot shadow resolution, low contact shadow uh, at off. Those ones will provide you a nice 6% boost. Resolution scale, you want to stay at 100. You don't want to downscale over there. Your visibility will be uh, pretty trash, honestly. Sharpening, uh, this one is question of preference. If you feel that the, your game is too blurry and you don't see enemy, go higher if you feel that it looks like an instagram filter go lower it's probably because you have too much sharpening particle detail i recommend to go with low it will uh stabilize your fps when you say explosion and stuff like that if you're getting some random drop probably because of your particle detail volumetric fog this one is pretty huge at low you can expect 10 percent boost in your fps global reflection quality local re uh, reflection quality low and off another 5%. And also, honestly, all the parameters that I'm currently uh, giving to you, um, you're boosting your FPS, but also it's a lot better for your visibility and to see enemy. Vegetation quality, go with low. Subsurface scattering off. Ambient inclusion, low. You can expect 7% boost over there. Object detail, put this one at zero. Extra streaming distance, this one, you can put it at 10 if you have 6 gig and more VRAM. If you have a 4 gig card, uh vram on your video card go with five so uh definitely a lot of people can run this at 10. lens flare go with off water quality low chromatic aberration at off here you're gonna expect a nice five percent boost and the last one tearing quality not a huge difference between low and medium so i recommend to run it at medium so that's about it, guys, for my X-Defiant uh, guide in 2024. If you have any questions, just comment in the YouTube section. Post me your rig, CPU, GPU, and RAM. I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. 
Peace.